What's up everybody? This is KG. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Andis Pro Foil Lithium Titanium Foil Shaver. So the reason I even bought this was for my father. He had an old Philips shaver that he had been using for many years and it died on him. So I got this for him to try out for something that could possibly replace what he had. The old style he had was those rotary motor type ones. Uh, the triple rotary motor ones and this one here is a foil shaver so it's a little bit different so one of the most important details it tells you right on the box is that this shaver is best for finishing fades and removing stubble so that's what the main purpose or the main design of this particular shaver is for it runs on a lithium ion battery that delivers up to 80 minutes of runtime on a single charge it also has a rotary motor that runs up to 9,000 strokes per minute. And you can also charge this thing on 100 to 240 volt plugs, 50 to 60 Hertz. But remember, you can use this thing as a wireless shaver. You can also use it plugged in, but it's meant to be wireless with the lithium ion battery. So when you open up the box, it comes with a instruction booklet and it has a charger with it. This is the part that plugs in over here and that's your charger and it plugs into the wall or into an outlet. It also comes with this little cleaning brush over here. And this right here is the main shaver. It comes with a see-through cover, it comes right off. So here's the cover and the shaver. So this is the full body of the shaver here. This here is the on-off switch. And then I'll slowly turn it around. That's the back. And this is the side and there's a button here to release the top cap for when you're cleaning it and doing maintenance work on it. And then here's the bottom. This is where you would plug in the charger to charge it. And this is the top right here with your titanium foils on them. So in order to open it up, you would lightly push this button here. And this lid would come off. And you can see on top here, these are your blades. And this is the underside of the cover. So this is the whole thing right here. And then you can put the lid back on, like so. And it's ready to use. The bottom over here is the light for your charger. So when you're charging it, this light turns on and when it's fully charged, it will turn off. And now I'll turn on the shaver just so you can hear the volume of how loud it is. So that is how loud it is. So in my opinion, it's not too quiet and it's not too loud. It's somewhere in the middle. It's like a medium sound. So a couple of things I will say about the design. It is quite compact. It is very light. It's not a heavy shaver. Easy to hold and easy to turn on and off. I would say this is a good travel size shaver you can take with you wherever you're going. And it will be easy to pack this in your suitcase or in your bag when you're going on a trip somewhere. So now I'm going to show you how the charger lights up when you put it in for charging. So first you got to get your charger and plug in one end to the shaver. Like so. And then I'm going to plug this into the outlet. Okay, I plugged it into the outlet now. You can see this light comes on over here. And when it's done charging, it will turn off on its own and it will let you know it's fully charged. And once again, Remember that you get 80 minutes of shaving time once it's fully charged. Now a couple of things to keep in mind when using this shaver. The foil heads right here, they are on little spring type things. So you can actually put a little pressure on them when it touches your face and push down a little bit on them when you're shaving. You don't want to go too light and you don't want to go too heavy. It's sort of like a medium, medium pressure that you want to put on there so that it will cut the hairs and give you a close finish shave. These titanium foils are quite thin and really give you a close shave when you finish. Now on the box when it tells you it is for finishing fades and for removing stubble, that's really how this item works best. It does not work as well when your hair is a little bit longer. Therefore, to get the best results out of using this shaver, you would want to use it regularly before your hair grows too long. So both my dad and myself, we tested this out on our face trying to use it to shave and it's not really meant to be a facial shaver. It doesn't really move well to the contours of your face when you're shaving. It does give you a close shave and like I said, it has to be short stubble 
and it will it will give a close shave but it doesn't go like when you're when you're trying to go around your neck areas or contoured areas of your face it just doesn't work that well now for me I just shaved and finished off my neck area here using this shaver and I trimmed the back of my head too and I used this to shave my neckline area and clean it up so in the back where I did my neckline it was really easy to use and it cleaned up that area really nicely in my neck area it did a fairly good job but again because it doesn't move or contour around well there's some areas that kind of get left or get you know don't get cleaned as well as they could so I would not suggest this to be a regular shaver meaning like if you're using this to shave your face or your whole face I would recommend getting a different product for that but if you're just taking off a little bit of stubble or if you're a barber using to fade and give bald fades and things of that nature this comes in really handy for that because it will give you a close finish and a good quality close shave with this product now for those of you who want to use a product to shave your entire face and you're looking for like a foil type then you might want to go with something like a Panasonic brand or Braun or some other brand that's known for like facial type of shaving products or another brand that's popular is also Philips which is the type of shaver my dad used to have before so now let's go to the footage of me cleaning my neck area and you can see for yourself how it turns out and you can decide for yourself what you think Okay, so I'm going to be testing out my Andis shaver on my neckline area here. And you can see there is my line there, but I'm going to bring this down a little bit shorter first to make it a smaller stubble to make it easier to shave with the Andis shaver. And what I will use is my Andis liner to redo my line here and bring this down shorter. And then I will finish off with the Andis shaver. Okay, so I've redone my line over here, just in the bottom section for my neckline. And in order to show you and test out the shaver and finish off just this area for now for this test. Okay, now I'm going to use my Andis shaver to finish cleaning up my neckline. It is all ready to go over here, so I'm just going to go in this section and see how smooth and how close it finishes it off. Okay, I'll turn it on. I'm applying like a medium pressure right now. Okay, I've more or less cleaned up my neckline and if I feel along here right now, it feels pretty smooth, it feels nice. Obviously not as short as a razor blade, but but it's, it's good enough, like I could just leave it like this and go out and I would be fine. So it is a, clo a fairly close finish. As for the build of it and the, the way I'm using it over here. It's not the most comfortable, but it does the job. If I need to get it done, it, it does do the job. You just gotta remember to bring the hair down as short as possible first, uh, which I did with the liner, and then finish off with this guy. 
Okay, what I'm gonna show you now is how to clean up this shaver once you're done using it. You can see here on the side, there's this red button and you just gotta push it very lightly. And it unlocks it on the top here. And then you just bring it up at an angle and take it off. So it comes off like this and you can see these are the two blades underneath and this is the top cover piece and you can see inside the bottom section these are the areas to clean out so underneath here and this whole area here now I have in my hand here a little brush that my dad previously had for one of his old shavers I don't use the one that came with the product um, this one gives me a little bit more flexibility in cleaning it so this is the one I use so first thing let's put the big guy down and just the head itself I just tap it on the bottom of the sink just to take out whatever comes out and then I use the brushes in here to help clean out the rest of it as best as I can try to take out as much of the stubble that's in here and even on top just lightly go over it and little bit of blowing and that pretty much cleans up the head and then the top of here I don't really like this design very much I feel it's quite flimsy but the first thing I try to do I try to take whatever stubble stuck in the blade heads itself and just kind of brush it off and reduce it on top in the middle on the sides of it just pretty Pretty quickly it doesn't doesn't I'm going a little bit slower just for the video but I would do it a little quicker normally and then I go underneath on the bottom and take out whatever I can take out and all around I just kind of give it a cleaning and then I go with this long brush after to give sort of like a final clean off in and around the sides try to get around the back section here and pretty much clean it off as best as I can. So now it's pretty fairly clean. And again, I do a final blow off. So I just blow on it to get any additional dirt off of it. To put it back together, you gotta be very careful. You cannot just put it straight on. If you put it straight on, you might have an issue with this little red tab over here. You might end up going on the inside of your shaver or pop onto the inside and it should stay on the outside. So in order for this to work properly, you have to start from the opposite side of the little red tab, which is this side here. And on this side, you align the end of shaver head first. So you pop this corner on first and you make sure it's aligned. So you see this part, this line, you wanna align it as such. And then you just lightly, gently push it on the red tab side and it should just click in like so. So now it's back ready to use once again. And then you can always pop your cover back on and keep it ready for the next time you want to use it. So in conclusion, I think this is a decent shaver for what it says it does on the box. So for finishing fades, for finishing necklines, for taking off low stubble areas, it is good. As you saw before I used this shaver, I used my liner to bring my hair down to a shorter level first and then I finished off with this product. So if you're doing your cuts or your lineups in that kind of a way and you're just using to finish off the end portions, this will work fine with that. But like I said, if you have a little bit longer hair and things like that, this is not the product for that. So the other thing I feel about this product is that it is a bit flimsy in certain ways, especially this headpiece over here. As you saw in my demo when I was cleaning it up, the top part was not really that strong. It's kind of a flimsy design. I'm not really happy with it. I have to be really delicate with it. And that part I told you earlier about that red tab disappearing into the shaver, that's not a good thing. And I feel for an Andis type product, I would have hoped that it was a little more heavy duty kind of a design. I feel this is a little bit weaker style of a design and I don't really like that part about it. So I always have to be super delicate when cleaning and super delicate when taking the lid off and putting it back on. And I would like to be a little more rough with it and not have to worry about those things. So if there's an improvement that Andis can make, they could probably make this a more heavy duty design in the future. 
or a little stronger design even the shaving heads just sitting there so loose and things like that I don't know it's it's not something I like and even in the maintenance and cleaning of it is is really like tedious I guess you can say if it was an easier way or a better way I would probably like it better or maybe if they had a design where you could just wash it or something without ruining the mechanism and just rinse it quickly or do something like that maybe that might be a better design now if we're talking about the closeness of the finish it gives you a really close finish like when I finish with this thing like my neck right now it feels pretty smooth it feels good my neck feels pretty smooth I had to use a little bit of a razor to finish off a few spots but overall it turned out pretty smooth all the way around so it gives you a close finish you don't really need to put a razor on it afterwards but I'm just used to using my razor so I always do a little bit extra I didn't I didn't touch my neck with the razor at all though I just did this by itself and it feels good enough to, to go out and it feels smooth so it does give you a good enough finish that you don't have to use a blade afterwards you can use it and then go out in the evening and go out for dinner or whatever you want to do and it, it gives you a close finish so I do give it like for finishing maybe I'll give it an 8 or 8.5 out of 10 for the closeness it's really good so this is my review on the Andy shaver I hope you found it useful and helpful and it helps you decide if this is the right product for you so if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you have any comments leave them below in the comment section if you haven't subscribed to my channel already Please do so and remember to hit the bell button so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Take care and we'll see you guys again next time. Peace out.